Welcome to Texas Heart Institute educational programs on innovative technologies and techniques. The purpose of these presentations is to inform and educate the physicians, allied medical personnel, and the general public on the latest advances in cardiovascular medicine. I'm your host, my name is Von Mercrazier. I'm an international cardiologist at Texas Heart Institute and Baylor CHI Medical Center. I'm clinical professor of medicine at Baylor College of Medicine and immediate past president of the International Society of Endovascular Specialists. The topic of this presentation is rationale, evolution, and the results of fast track endovascular repair of abdominal aortic aneurysm or EVAR and uh, endovascular repair of thoracic aortic aneurysm or TVAR. The question is, is this approach becoming a new standard of care? Now, uh, as far as this advantage of surgery are concerned for EVAR and TVAR, uh, the great majority of patients will require the use of general anesthesia. The procedure is time consuming. It is painful after surgery. And also there is a higher risk of infection. We have to face the reality. Technology has significantly changed and continues to drive toward less invasive solutions for TVAR and EVAR. Lower profile devices are now available and are associated with higher success rate and fewer complications than 20 or 30 years ago. We also have to take into consideration patient satisfaction. And what is also very important, payers and hospitals demand better resource utilization and demand to find a way to reduce the cost of the procedure. So how can we decrease morbidity and mortality and the cost of these procedures? One approach would be fast track EVAR and TVAR. Now, what is the feasibility of fast track EVAR and TVAR? There are numerous publications that address this particular issue, and here are some of them that have been already reported in the literature. Fast track care uh, is being adopted for elective open infra renal abdominal aortic aneurysm repair, which offers shorter ICU stay and shorter hospital stay and reduced uh, mortality. There is also information as far as uh, the risk appropriate in hospital mortality is concerned following 132,000 elective EVARs at 1,207 uh, hospitals is as low as 0.7%, which is dramatically lower than in uh, early studies with EVAR and TVAR. Bilateral PVAR and local anesthesia offers 94% treatment success and shorter hospital stay of 1.3 days and 0.6 30-day mortality as we have published this in a previous study. Also, short-stay EVAR offers patients to achieve early discharge in an established protocol that is accepted nowadays in most of the institutions. So, what is the premise of fast-track EVAR and TVAR? We know that traditional EVAR and TVAR requires femoral artery exposure and repair surgically. Frequently, there is a need for general anesthesia due to discomfort. Uh, the patients are routinely admitted to an intensive care unit, and typically, the length of stay is between two and three days. All of those uh, procedures uh, increase perioperative morbidity and contribute to the overall cost of the procedure. So what is the premise of fast track EVAR and TVAR? Well, the most important thing is that the procedure should be performed via percutaneous access to avoid complications of surgical access and repair. There is no need for general anesthesia. Typically, it's done with local anesthesia and conscious sedation. There is no need for ICU stay. The patient can be admitted to a regular floor. And typically, they are discharged the following day after the procedure. In order to improve patient outcomes, patient satisfaction, and healthcare resource utilization. Now, to achieve that goal, percutaneous large vein closure 
uh, has evolved to prevent the risk of surgery. And one of their earlier devices um, was Prostar XL, which is a 10 French braided suture mediated vascular closure device. This device has been extensively studied and published um, by uh, many investigators in single center studies and uh, is approved in European Union for large bore femoral artery closure, but it's still not approved in the United States for this particular application. What's very important that one device can be used for access closure all the way to 20 for French. Now, another device that is commercially available and approved for large bore closure is ProGlide, which is a six French suture mediated monofilament vascular closure device. Obviously this device is lower in profile. It is very frequently used for diagnostic and interventional procedures and the operators are very familiar with this particular device. This device is approved in the United States for large bore femoral artery closure all the way to 21 French OD diameter devices. We have published our early experience uh, with the use of ProStar for large bore closure with very high success rate. And uh, also we have shown the technique and the results of the use of pre-closed technique for femoral artery aneurysm repair and also for the endovascular repair of abdominal aortic aneurysm using ProGlide uh, device. Now, to uh, prove the concepts of uh, results of this particular technique, uh, so-called percutaneous technique with a pre-closed technique using ProGlide, we have um, carried on a multi-center prospective randomized trial of percutaneous EVAR versus surgical femoral artery repair, so-called PVAR trial. The technical success using ProGlide for this particular use was 94%. When we look at the results of this particular trial, looking at major ipsilateral axis side vascular complications at 30 days, we can see that uh, ProGlide offered only 6% complications or vascular complications in comparison with CVAR that had a 10% incidence of vascular complications, which was significantly different. In addition to that, PVAR with the ProGlide shortens the procedure in comparison with CVAR, and time to hemostasis was also significantly shorter with PVAR than with CVAR. And this was uh, published uh, on several occasions uh, in different journals. And here we can see the results of those publications related to the PVAR trial results. Now our personal results with Fast Track EVAR that started in 1996 and we looked at our results from 1996 to 2015. Uh, 2,183 EVAR procedures performed during that period of time and PVAR procedures were performed in 2010 patients. As we can see the Fast Track from 1997 to 2014 was performed in 78% of patients, but more recently, uh, since 2000, so it means for the last 19 years, 98% of patients underwent uh, PVAR technique and fast track protocol. As far as uh, technical success is concerned, using ProStar device, the technical success was achieved in 97% of patients and we ProGlide the technical success rate was 96%. As far as need for blood transfusion, it was low. 2% of patients uh, required blood transfusion either during or after the procedure. And conversion to general anesthesia was very low and occurred in 0.1% of patients. Hospital mortality was low in all comers, 0.3%. For all patients, including patients with serious comorbid conditions, and access site infection was very low at 1%. Now, as far as uh, uh, the least invasive fast track EVAR protocol is concerned, we carried on this particular study in so called life registry. Life registry was uh, done uh, using a 14 French ovation Stengraft under fast track EVAR protocol. 
So this device is significantly lower in profile than any previously used devices in any of the EVAR clinical trials. The protocol required that the percutaneous femoral artery access and repair was performed with two proglide devices in so-called pre-closed fashion or at the beginning of the procedure. No general anesthesia was used, no ICU admission was required, and the patients were discharged the following day. And here are the results of life registry, fast track EVAR using local anesthesia, percutaneous approach, and next day discharge. Successful bilateral PVAR with Proglide was achieved in 97% of patients, which was higher than in the PVAR trial where the, where the technical success using Proglide was 94% with a larger profile device with a 21 French OD. When we look at the other parameters as far as uh, life registry is concerned, we can see the major adverse events occurred in 0.4% of patients, which was the lowest of any clinical trial that was carried on uh, with any of the devices that are commercially available at the present time. Also, from this trial, the procedure time was dramatically shorter than in any published uh, literature using EVAR devices, and the hospital stay was the shortest 1.2 days, and the ICU stay was none in this particular trial in comparison with the other publications related to EVAR. Also what is very important as far as the patient's outcomes are concerned, quality of life improvement was significantly better in patients uh, that uh, had a successful fast track uh, EVAR is concerned and this was also published in the Journal of Endovascular Therapy in 2017. More recently, we published the results of um, economic benefits of fast track EVAR, and we can see the patients that completed fast track EVAR had a significantly lower hospital cost, and reduction in the cost was roughly $4,000 per patient. When we compare the EVAR uh, hospital readmissions in previously published studies and compare it with the life registry, we can see that the need for unplanned 30-day readmission was dramatically lower in life registry. It was 1.6% versus 7.9 and 8.1% in previously published study. And also as far as need for operation during a readmission was zero for life registry, and it was significantly higher at 28% in previously published studies. So we can say that life readmission rate is five times less than contemporary EVAR reports. More recently, we have also uh, seen that there is um, a newer device that can be used for large bore closure. And this particular device is Manta by Essential Medical and more recently by Teleflex. This device has been approved for clinical use for large bore closure. We can see here Manta deployment animation. This device has over the wire design. It achieves hemostasis by sandwiching arteriotomy with polylactic coagulacolic acid intraarterial toggle an extravascular bovine collagen plug that is um, uh, sandwiched with 2O polyester suture and locked in place with stainless steel suture lock. There are two sizes available, 14 French Manta that closes the access site up to 18 French and larger 18 French Manta that closes the access sites all the way up to 20 five French. As far as uh, Manta US ID pivotal to trial is concerned, we can see here on the left hand side the technique using a ultrasound for gaining access, uh, measuring the depth, and then advancing Manta device to uh, close the access side post um, uh, EVAR. So 
18 French Manta was used in 84% of patients in this particular trial, which is a larger Manta. The great majority, or 80% of patients, had a TAVR procedure, and about 20% of patients had a PVAR or TVAR. As we can see, the time to hemostasis was short. It was achieved in less than one minute in 86% of patients, and hemostasis was achieved in less than five minutes in 94% of patients. Technical success was 97.7%. The major vascular complications occurred in 4.2% of patients, and minor vascular complications occurred in 2.7% of patients. So, as far as the fast track EVAR and TVAR is concerned, we can see that this particular technique provides benefits across the whole healthcare delivery spectrum. There are numerous patients' benefits, as listed here. It is minimally invasive procedure. We can avoid general anesthesia complications. There is less blood loss. There are fewer growing complications. The patients experience less pain and the patients are offered quicker recovery time. There are also several physician benefits such as quicker procedure, no need for anesthesia, anesthesia delay. The patient satisfaction is greater and there is better efficiency. There are also numerous hospital benefits. The patient satisfaction is better. There is lower incidence of infection, lower cost of the hospitalization and the procedure. There is less need for blood transfusion, and we have improved efficiency of patient care. Thank you very much for your attention.